Hello everyone and welcome to another Starfield shipbuilding guide. Today we're going to be going over this micro little ship behind me. Let me introduce you to the blistering beetle right here. Uh, this is my little submission for the tiny ship, small ship, micro ship challenge, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it is a wonderful little ship. I wanted to make one that packed a darn punch and that you can actually fly around and use. It's quite practical. So this is what I came up with. Uh, this video is going to table contents. It's going to be, it is chaptered. You can jump around. We are going to do a requirements, a stat sheet then we are going to do a quick walk around a quick interior tour and we are going to do a shopping list for if you have an outpost then the shopping list for if you don't have an outpost then we are going to lego put this thing together paint it maybe talk a little bit about it and then we are going to end the video that is the table of contents now for the first order of business those pesky little requirements you need to be level 60 for the reactor i'll uh, have piloting skill level four for the reactor and have starship design level four for some of the other parts on here uh you can build it with slightly less the best you have available and upgrade later that is not a problem it might degrade the performance just a wee bit but it's not that big of a deal now that we've got those pesky requirements out of the way let's get into the stat sheet here make myself really tiny in the corner here we are going to start with the fuel capacity of 800 the for our proper fuel efficiency skill that is more than enough to jump across the entire galaxy in said little tiny ship and you have a hull of 1500 i mean it's a tiny ship not gonna be a huge number but that's pretty respectable you have a cargo i'm gonna say this twice cargo 6225 6225 cargo in a tiny little ship that's 19 by 16 that is ridiculous we know it's ridiculous and you have a shielded cargo capacity of 380 for those little illegal goods that you don't know how you acquire i mean we're not gonna talk about that but like it's back there if you need it you smugglers i get the trouble you get into here we have a reactor of 41 a crew of eight jump range of 30 light years you can cross the universe 3200 shields you can take a beating in space and just keep on kicking you got 12 weapons on here the ones we've assigned to the ship our personal preference there are some better are some worse you can use whatever you want doesn't matter she's got room for it change them up as you will the value of this ship is 628,000 credits it ain't for the poor man that being said you can make it a little bit cheaper but we like the high end stuff up in here so it's safe to go into this build with about 700,000 credits gives you a little bit of leeway 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 here and there mass of 2800 for a tiny little ship it's actually quite a lot here do a quick little spin around just check out how wonderful the ship looks uh these giant engines on the back do give you 100 mobility with 130 top speed on top of everything it is not going to be the fastest thing in the world but it is a type c and you have to give up a little bit of speed to fit 6,225. Can I say that again? 6,225 cargo on this thing. Now we're bummed being dramatic about the stats because I'm just impressed by the stats on this little thing. And can I mention it has a two by one hab in here? Like it, 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 you can actually fit a two by one hab in here. You can actually do some cool stuff. We're going to jump out of here and introduce you to the blistering beetle. For those who don't know what those are, they're tiny little beetles that are very, very poisonous. And I think it fits this thing. I think it's a distinctive little ship. It's got these little nut fools things here on the front. There has been some revamp since the showcase. Uh, and so we're ever evolving here, ever making things better. Do a quick walk around. You can see it's just so adorable. It's got a big butt. Got a little front up here. Nah, who doesn't like a big butt? Uh, this, that could get really, really weird really, really quick. So we're just gonna move on from that one today. Got the shielded cargo down here and just blend it in with the ship because you know the authorities don't need to see that it's shielded so you just kind of blend it in with the rest of the ship these huge engine packs the beautiful little reactor sticking right off the back that actually matches the color scheme of the ship uh the beetles in real life are like a black orange with like a silvery color to them and i think we painted the ship to accurately match what it's named after you can feel free to name it whatever you want feel free to make any modifications to our ships all you want we love to see your changes please post them on social media and tag us when you do it's absolutely wonderful check it out here we got this huge cabin we have eight crew members in here jump on up here check it out from the top view Look at this little shield generator. It's just tucked in here. It's so adorable. It's an adorable little ship. We're getting a little ridiculous here today. We're going to jump back over here. And we're going to head inside the ship. Hey, Vasco. How's it going? Greetings. Greetings to you too, sir. Now, let's give you a nice, cute little tour of the interior ship. Well, Why did I go with this all-in-one Nova Hab? It has a research station in here. It has a bed over here. Yeah, we have eight crew in here. It's a lot. But 
for those that want to yes. talk about you see this one two three four five six seven we have seven fold out little inflatable mattresses all lined up right here when it's bedtime everyone just kind of picks a spot uh we draw straws for who gets the actual bed sometimes the taller people prefer not to get it though so they don't actually play in we have ourselves Sorry. a galley right here and we also have a navigational console so you don't even need go? to go up into the captain's quarters or or up into the uh Glorious upper deck day. of the ship if you don't want to deal with ladders and we nice even have a day. bathroom like this is like a completely rp friendly usable now? small it's little area with a single food. ship and if we jump up top that. we've got our storeroom where we keep all of our little food and extra bonuses and we go into our i forgot what the cockpit is we're going into the cockpit now we have this huge room this is like where the real room is some people bring their air mattresses up here they like to sleep uh, like with a view right here up on this front dashboard. It's just wonderful to look out at the stars at night. A little bit RP friendly there. It's really, really nice. We've got a little side room over here. If you want a little bit of privacy, shut the door that doesn't exist. Same door here. A beautiful little window looking out over the little radiators we have out there. Just overall, it's a really good cockpit. I love flying in this cockpit. It's such good visibility. It's huge. You can hold eight crew members. And that is our tour of the inside of the Blister Beetle. Now we're going to jump on over to the ship we're going to be modifying to build this thing. Blam! Dramatically through the fashion of editing, we are now here at the ship we are gonna modify. That was a very dramatic take. Either way, I build all of my videos in the premise that whatever ship you bring will be completely deleted. If you wanna keep personal modules, you can, you do you, but assume everything on your ship will be deleted. That being said, for all those advanced ship builders out there who kind of know what they're doing and have outposts set up with landing pads at them, I am going to throw up a shopping list right here that has everything you need to build a ship on it including the five, six modules you cannot get at your landing pad outpost and where they are located. So you need to go there and do that. And hopefully in the all I ranted here, you paused. If you haven't paused, you need to pause the game right now. Go get all the stuff and meet me at the assembly part of this video because all of us who want to go shopping in a video game are about to go do so. So pause it. You paused it. We're moving on with our lives. For those that don't know, I like to start all of my videos on New Atlantis. This is not where we are shopping, but it is where we begin because everyone has access to it. We will zoom out twice in our map. We're headed to Neon City for our first stop in Voli 2. Voli 2 all the way over here on the right. We will be click on Voli 2 Alpha. Then we'll be clicking on Neon Core. We will land at a Neon Core. Once we get through the beautiful black loading screens, which are a representation of my soul, someone said in comments, I appreciate that, it means a whole lot to it. We will just continue to deal with black skin. We are going to take a right, and we are going to sprint off over here, and then we are going to decide that, that is the wrong way, and we are going to take a left when we come out that door, and we are going to sprint out here to Stroud Eklund's little store here. You can see this little Stroud Eklund sign and on window here. We are going to come in here, and we are going to buy some stuff once we get in here through the soul black death screens of loading again come in here hello ma'am how you doing i just want to use your terminal view modify ships ship builder and now you are going to purchase everything you see in this shopping list right here and once you have done so we'll move on but you should certainly pause it right now like it would just be the smart thing to do but some of us aren't very smart and we like not smart people but we also really like smart you know what pause it did you pause it yet okay it has been paused we're gonna move on here now that you've done your shopping list this is the stuff you should have bought here this is the top down view i will do for every single shopping and for assembly just so you have an easy visual representation of everything you should have bought here now i'm gonna do a little quick caveat here these engines require you to finish some of the walter quest line in the main storyline so if you are ng plus you probably do not have access to these and you could do one below it and your mobility will suffer ever so slightly this j1 gamma drive reactor there is a better one if you want the best of the best get it doesn't change anything same stats and this is pinch 8z reactor you have to have level 60 to have it if you do not see it here there are other ones you can buy that give you slightly less power and they will still make the ship function and run just fine but now that you've acquired these things we need to fit them on our ship so I'm gonna pause it here and I'm just gonna huck these things on my ship and then I'll show you what I did. And just like that, you can see that I bought some uh, one by one companion ways and just threw them all on here, just hucked everything on the back. It doesn't really matter. You have to delete your old reactors, your old engines, your old stuff. Otherwise you get a bunch of flight jack errors. For those with really keen eyes, you'll see that my money has changed. I was on the wrong save. I was too broke to even afford the ship I'm trying to make a guide to. It's kind of embarrassing, but it happens. Either way, 
we are going to go in here and flight check. You should have, uh, this ship has too few landing gears still. And you'll be like, what do you do about that? Well, we're just going to buy some landing gears here, throw them on here, however many you need to do. If I could, uh, find them, usually I click through this thing too fast. So we're just going to take these. I'm just going to slap a few on here, just like this, till the error goes away. Now I'm just going to throw two more extras on here, so later we don't get the same error again. And now we're flying this stupid, ugly monstrosity, but it is a very high-powered ship. Oddly enough, just because of all the modules we just put on this thing. And we're going to back out, and we're going to head to our second stop. But our second stop does not require leaving this planet. So we're going to do a 180. We're going to run out the front door of the Shroud Eklund building. Go to the soulless black screen of death again. You can do a Neon City load! We're gonna come out, we're gonna take a right. This time it's a right. I knew there was a right somewhere we needed to take. Oh, hey. And yeah, there's a nice little trade facility to sell your uh, totally legal goods. Let's come around here. Ooh, we dodged that pole like a boss. You guys didn't see that coming, did you? We're gonna run all the way down here into Tayo. Hey guys, how's it going? Just reporting to work here. We're gonna run out of stamina because it's a long ass run. We're gonna go into the elevator. We're going to go to Tayo Astroneering, one up from the bottom decision here. Should be where their shipyard is, oddly enough, or where you build ships for them. Come out the main door, you're gonna take a right. Run a little bit past all these windows, take a right down these stairs, and we're gonna talk to this beautiful little lady right here. Oh, I'm totally ready to change my life. Thank you very, very much. We're going to modify our ship. Now you are going to purchase everything on this shopping list right here, and you should pause it. Um, we should know the ring roll here that you pause it when I put a shopping list up. And if you haven't paused it, my dog's barking at things. They're freaking out. I kind of want to go check what it is because I'm the protector with the daughter and all the stuff here. Pause the game. Pause the game. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Now that you've paused it, I went and checked on the dogs to stop looking. Listen, it was nothing. This is what you should have is one ship bed, 200 landing bay, and two tile side cap ports. That's what you should have. Now we need to make these fit on our ship. Uh, you're probably going to have to delete a docker module here. Bam, just like that. I'm going to show you what I did. And bam, you can see what I did here. I just kind of threw the dock module on there. Threw these little things over here again. Just get the stuff to fit on your ship with no flight errors. We're now going to head off to our third shopping place. It's just, we're actually going to leave this planet. We are now headed to the Red Mile. And the Red Mile will be all the way up here in the Pomara system. Premier, to so the right of Voli. Right here. And then we're going to click on Pomara 3. I always want to click on Pomara 2, but Pomara 3, hopefully I'm even pronouncing these right. Poriyama? Poroma? I don't know. I was adding some syllables there, but it happens. Here's Red Mile. This is where we're going to go land. Pick up our next items. Oh, and my soul has returned. We have this beautiful ringed planet with, uh, I don't even know what ship that is. Is that the starting ship? There's some sort of ship down there. It's beautiful little rings we are observing here. Once we are here, we are going to run straight, basically over this little thing here this this crustacean this uh jet out the geode geode i don't my brain is stalagmite now my brain is just running through what all of those could be and i think i got it wrong every single time so we're just gonna pretend i'm a smart person we're gonna open this door wait for this really long airlock to cycle come on in once we're in here we're gonna run up here go past the ship services desk there's a little yellow door here yeah, I know, all the guards in here are total assholes. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna talk to this sad, sad yeah. gentleman. He might have a spiel to tell you if you've never been here before. Uh, you just get through that, and then eventually you can get into the ship modify. And you're gonna buy the stuff that is on this shopping list, right here. So, we, again, this is the pause, pause it, pause it, pop, pop, pause it, pause it, pop, 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 pause it, and buy the stuff, pause it, pop, 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 pause it. Pause it. Okay, now that you've paused it, now that you've completed your shopping list, you should have these simple items here. Two 200 CM ballast shielded cargo holds. Make sure the shielded ones. And one scan jammer, multiple frequency. I actually like to buy two of these because I like to keep my ship symmetrical, even though there's absolutely no reason for it whatsoever. But then we are just going to fit these on the ship wherever they go. Just make them work. And uh, yeah. Now that we've squeezed all that on our ship, let's back out of here and head to our next destination. Open up our map and zoom out twice. We are now headed all the way over here to the Valo system, which is underneath Narion. If you click on Narion, then you click on Valion. Then we are going to click on Pavlo, zoom in the Pavlo, and we are going to head to Hope Town and land at Hope Town for the next shopping tour. Uh, there's only a singular item here. The ship is so much easier to put together at your landing outpost. You don't have to make quite as many stops, but you know, for those of us 
who maybe don't like outposts or don't want outposts. We enjoy loading screens maybe a Smugglers little bit more than someone else. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you for that wonderful information. I'm going to come up here to the Sheriff's Service sure. Technician, open them up, and we are going to hit View, Modify, Ship again. We're going to be the Shipbuilder, and you're going to purchase the super, super long shopping list right here. It is absurdly long. You should pause it. Definitely pause it, because it's really long. Like, you never know. Maybe I'll go eat some Oreos right now, some cheese balls while you guys pause it. Okay. And after you've completed that super challenging shopping list, you should literally have two Hope Technos B4s. I'm just going to super quickly chuck these on the ship like that. We're going to head to our next destination, which will be the Demo Shipyard in Seoul. Dab out of him. Open up the map. Zoom out again. Head on over here to Seoul. We're gonna look in for Mars. Once we find Mars, we click on Mars. And if you can kind of click off on the side here, there's a little Deimos asteroid. We will set a course, jumping to the asteroids. This is the best part of this entire build guide. You get to fly your jank ship, actually. Oh, you don't have to fly your jank ship. You can just keep it somewhere else and fly your home ship around to like a good ship. But I like flying the jank ship. I think it's fun. How often do you get to fly some weird little thing like this around? Wee. <laughs> Lock on and dock. Make everyone dizzy in the process. Freaking flight control will be like, holy shit, this guy is drunk! And we'll be like, yeah, we're fine. It's all good. Beautiful docking animations. Who doesn't love these? Boarding? Oh. There's like 14 conversations going over on the comms there. Who who doesn't love that? Like, especially the same dialogue over and over again. We're going to run forward. We're going to take a slight left. Slight right. That is too way too jerky of camera motions. So we're going to smoothen that out a little bit here. Come on downstairs. Talk if to this gentleman. This beautiful, bald, shiny-headed gentleman. Uh, come on. Ah, cue ball. Um, okay. Now that we're here, you want to buy this. This is a shopping list. We're going to pause it again. You should definitely pause it. You know, I didn't go get Oreos on any of those pauses, but I did have Oreos when I checked on the dogs. Are you paused it yet? So I talk about Oreos. Jeez. Okay. You're paused. We're good. We're moving on. Now that you finished the shopping list, you should have one 100 DP slim docker top and one DS40.2 Aries bridge. And then we're going to make these things just fit on our ship. I already kind of modified it a little. I ripped off the cockpit. Ripped off the docker off the top. We're just kind of smack it on there. Then everything is on. And we're going to head to our final destination by backing out of here. Leaving when you. you we're going to stay in the soul system too. This is a super, super short, easy flight. We're going to back out twice. We're going to head to Titan. And once you're at Titan, we're going to head to New Homestead. We're going to travel to New Homestead and hit travel. They're going to want to scan your ship for whatever reason. Because New Homestead is super, super anal about... Uh, Scanning your ship. Everywhere else you can just go land and dock to immediately, but not here. They just don't trust us whatsoever. So we're gonna going to land at the new homestead. We're gonna run on over to the ship modification person. Like always, it's just how these go. Once you start doing these in a rhythm, it starts to feel like you're repeating yourself, and then we Yeah, yeah, those are words. Gibberish. Gibberish came out of mouth. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to sure. offload some things, my friend. Now that you are here, we're going to buy this really, really long shopping list. This is actually the long shopping list there is. Maybe I'll break it up into two parts. If I don't, there's only one. You should pause it here. Do we pause it here? Mmm, cheese balls. I ate some cheese balls earlier. Pretty yummy. Don't eat them that often. Don't buy them that often. They're not good for you. you shouldn't do that. Pause it. Should pause it. Rambling. We paused it. Okay, you paused it. Let's shop. Now that you finished the shopping list, you should have this shamandering of parts here. You could have four NG20 landing gears, two Galleon S204 cargo holds, two H30 Atlas HE3 tanks, two Caravel V101 cargo holds, one Assegurance SG1800 shield generator, one Nova Galactic all-in-one berth, one Nova Galactic companionway, two Nova Cowling 1LTFs, two Nova radiator tops, four horizontal weapon mounts, four PBO 30s if you're doing the same weapons as I am, four PBO 100 auto neutron turrets, and four PBO 300 auto alpha turrets. Again, not the best weapons in the game, just personal preference for no particular reason. This is just what I use. And now that we have all of that shopping done, we're gonna see this, this janky ship up here. We are going to tear everything we have bought in off of this ship into a pattern down here that I am going to do right now and then I'll show you guys and you can mimic. Now you should have this entire shamandering of parts. I like that word shamandering today, so we're gonna use it. Uh, you might only have one of these scan jammers. Like I said, I like to keep the ship symmetrical, so I bought two of them. Then you just wanna double check your ship, make sure you're not forgetting anything like, uh, 
any of these tiny little bits here, like the tie side caps, then just yeet, yeet your entire old ship. Hopefully I don't delete anything we needed and make an ass out of myself during the building process, but it does happen. And now that the ship is completely yeeted, we can begin the structural building of our the Lego, the Lego assembly of our ship. We can begin that. Words hard sometimes they happen. We are going to start with our SDS 40.2 Ares Bridge cockpit. We're just going to drag it over here. We are going to take our Nova Galactic all in one half and we're going to snap it down here. We can see it's like right off the back side, leaving one front area right here uh, with one extra bit sticking out the back. We are going to take our ship bed 200 landing bay and smack it right here in the front. You can zoom in and you can see that it's right underneath the hab now like this. And then we're going to take our first landing gear. We're going to transform it using the arrow keys on keyboard or I think it's the Y button on controller. I don't know. I don't use a controller. We're going to transform them and we're going to apply these on both sides to right behind the ship bed 200 landing bay on the very first part of the Nova Galactic uh, habitat here. And then we're going to take the other ones and do exactly the same thing, but we're going to attach them one farther back, just like so. Now we're getting this little square kind of layout here. We're going to find our fuel tanks, our H30 Atlas tanks, and we're going to attach them one on both sides of our landing bay, just like this. Give us this little button stub nose thing going on down here and we're going to take our nova radiators and we're going to smack them on top of these very first front landing gears here uh, i just think it adds a little bit of texture there because this is a really flat part of the ship that kind of looks a little awkward but you know what we're doing the best we can with what we got now we're going to take our galleon s204 cargo holds and we're going to place them right here on this right side on this back landing gear. We're going to do another one right above that to make this square. And then we're going to take our J51 Gamma Jump Drive. We're going to apply it right here on the other side. So now we've got two squares lining up. You can see how it matches, kind of keeping it balanced on both sides. We're going to take our Nova Galactic Companionway 101. And we're going to stick it in the middle. Make sure that your errors go down by one because now everything should be connected. Uh, if not, you might have to reconnect them. It gets a little weird sometimes with this layout. Now we're going to take our reactor and we're going to stick it right on the very back of the ship lined up perfectly with all those modules so you can see right here there's nothing sticking out the bottom, nothing sticking out the top, it's just cleanly tucked away right in there just like so. We're going to take our engines, we're going to drop them down. So the first one is attached to the bottom part of the reactor with one extra part sticking out the top there. Take a second engine, and we're going to pop it here so it's sticking one out the top and we're going to do the same on the other side here with our other engine. Let's do the lower one first. It makes doing the top one a little bit easier. You can see here, both of them, the way they look, sticking right out the top with just one extra bit sticking out the top. Now, just because of perpetual chaos, we are going to take our Nova Cowling 1 LTF and put them up here. I really struggled to say that for whatever reason. Then we're going to take the next one and pop it right on top, just like so. And we're going to come over here and we are going to take our docking module. Should have done this earlier since so it's the bottom. We're going to flip it upside down. We're going to get cheeky with these camera angles because the game gets a little bit weird when you do this. We're going to slide down here. Come on, you can do a game. Boom. And we're just going to pop it right there in the front one. You can also do it in the back one. It doesn't really matter where you do it. Uh, I just choose to do it one forward so the ladders all line up and it keeps more of the module intact. And we're going to come in here. We're going to take this little cargo container. We're going to put it at the top. I'm trying to remember exactly what we do. That's what we do here. We're going to flip this one and mirror it on this side. So these are sticking out the top just like this. Then we're going to take our 200 cm ballast cargo hold. And we're going to attach them to the lower part of this where they're attached off the offset of our landing gear here on this little back bit. It's a pretty small ship. It's not too many places to snap everything. We're going to take this one. We're going to mirror it on this side so it's all the way down at the bottom. We're going to grab our shield generator because perpetual chaos screw finishing any one part of the ship at once we're going to tag it right here in the middle on top of your one by one companion way up top here so it's dead center in the middle of the ship kind of tucked in actually you can't even see it if you're going straight at something it's tucked underneath your cockpit looks really really cool and we're going to grab our two hope tech nose bees i'm just going to bring a little bit closer to the ship so i don't have to pan around so much we're going to attach them to the top part of the square on both sides. So you got the cargo container here. We're gonna go to the top of this one. You got this one over here. We're gonna snap it on the top of this reactor over here. Why do I, I always call this reactor in every single video I make, so it looks like a reactor to me. It is the grab drive. We're going to grab our Tayo side cap ports and we're gonna drop these right here in the middle like so. 
you can rearrange these three things if there's anything you prefer a little bit better than the other. Um, I can't remember if I had the cargoes at the top or the bottom in my original version, so we're just, we're just making do with this here. We're going to then come over here to our horizontal weapon mounts, and we're going to snap the first one onto the only landing gear where there's an option to do so up here in the front, right behind the fuel tanks. Take the other one, bring it over here, mirror it on this side as well. If the game would like to snap it here, there we go, sweet. Let it snap in there. And we're going to take our other ones, and we're going to squeeze them in between the shield generator right here. It's a really tight little fit there at the top. We're going to do one of those on both sides. We're going to flip this around by hitting Z on the keyboard. Come on up, reach down, and just like that, you smack these little guys in here, and they're kind of tucked away in there. Now we can take the scan jammers, and you can actually snap them. I'm just going to snap both of mine in. You might only have one. Um, but why I bought two is to keep this kind of symmetrical is because they tuck right in here and I hate that they clip with the shield generator a little bit but maybe I shouldn't have pointed that out but it doesn't look too bad in the end so those fit there then we're going to take our first PB30 electron beam and we're going to snap it in right above the shield generator here right on the top part of that weapon mount where we just topped that scan jammer topped topped whatever it works words hard to say mouth drying out too much talking we're going to snap the next one right here on top of this little uh, thing so they're symmetrical on both sides. Then we are going to take the th fourth, third, third one, the third one, and we're going to drop it down here and attach this weapon mount on the left side on the outside. And we're going to mirror the same on the right side here to the lower one. You can see what I'm talking about here. So now they're tucked in tight on the lower part here. And we're going to take our first PBO 100 auto cannon, snap it right on the side of our cockpit, snap this one right on the other side of the cockpit here. So we're going to take our third one, we're going to snap it to the outside, and the fourth one, and mirror it on the other side, so it should look like this. So you can see how it's mirrored here, it's the top part of the one on the outside, same over here. Now for the big boys. These are going to just snap all the way across the top here. We're actually going to grab all three of these by hitting control on the keyboard and bringing them up here so I don't have to do this so many times. Snap all four of these right here, and bam, just like that. Your blistering beetle ship is 100% assembled, and it's time to paint this thing. So I'm going to double-click everything. We have one error. What is our error? Oh, it's probably weapons, not assigned error. So I'm actually going to go to flight check, go to weapons, and we're going to assign the PB-30 electron beams to your left mouse, because that's the only actually active weapon on here. And we're just going to assign the next two turrets to right mouse and G, just because they have to be assigned to a weapons group. Now you should be able to back out of here and fly away. Your ship is 100% completed and done. I'm going to paint this thing up real quick and show you guys. And just like that, through the magic of editing, my ship is completely painted. We are out of the builder and at the stat screen, just to show it off at the very end here. I just really, really like this color scheme on the ship. I think it looks really, really good. And it's a change from my normal teal and black. Let me know in the comments what you did to the ship to make it your own. I love when people change up my ship. Change your weapons. Change the modules on it. Make it a little bigger. Make it a little smaller. Add fuel. Remove fuel. I don't care. I just like hearing how people modify it and improvements they make. And just the little things they do. And if you post it somewhere on social media, at me in it. And I'll check it out. And yeah, it's really, really fun. I just, I love building these ships. I love showing them off to people. And I just really love that you guys are enjoying them. Checking them out yourselves. Now, that being said, it's time for the outro, everyone. It's time to end this. Click on the cards around here. They're around. Share this with all your friends. Post it on Discord. You know, blow things up here. Gotta love to grow the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make more Starfield content. I'm really enjoying this. And I will see you all in the next one. Take the out! Bye, everyone. Still have shingles. Still hurts like hell. We gotta put on a brave face. Bye.